Welcome to Southeastern Ohio Solar Haven once again, and thank you for watching my channel. So, uh, guess what? We're going to be here discussing capacitors today. Um, I've had a lot of questions about super capacitors and capacitors. What can I use? What should I use? And all that. And uh, I thought I'd make a little video about it for people because a lot of people are getting ripped off. Um, as you can see here, this is a big Maxwell supercapacitor. It's 3,000 farads, and you can look at it in my hand, size comparison. And you go and compare the size of these to the D cells. Look, look at the difference there. Now, this one, you know, once again, it's a 350 farad, 2.7 volt. And you know, you've seen in an earlier video that I built a small capacitor bank. That little capacitor bank can be charged up to as high as 16, 16.2 volts. And uh, it is on a circuit board that has the balancing built in. And uh, you get what you pay for, really. You got to watch. Uh, some of these can be faked, but most of the time when you see right here, there's a serial number on that one. And most of the time you'll see this, uh, I think they call it QR code thing, you know, not fake, not fake. Same way here, though they usually have a serial number on them and everything. So you have to watch out for fake capacitors also. And, uh, you know, I, I got... I have 12 of these actually uh, hooked to my big solar bank, uh, battery bank, solar bank, battery bank, whichever you want to call it, battery bank, for helping it with current surges from power inverters and everything. But I also see a number of people out there saying, well, car stereo capacitor or whatever. Well, a lot of people now are using these type of capacitors in car stereos because they strayed away from these ones that are car stereo capacitors like i have one here that i took apart in a case it was by tsunami and it had a nice little top on it here with connectors and a voltage read out and everything but the funny thing about it is is that they said this was a 10 farad capacitor well I opened this thing up and this was in my junk pile it was given to me I find that it has six mini super capacitors all at 60 farad at 2.7 volt whether those are the real McCoy or not we don't know but it also had this huge whatever you want to call it capacitor and it had a hole in it so I mean you get what you pay for you get junk uh, it's the same way here this right here guess what came out with another car stereo super capacitor it had these two big roll you know can can type capacitor sandwiched in between there and it was claimed to be a 30 farad boss capacitor now I'm going to show you Sorry about that. That is what it's supposed to be. But guess what? There's no way that this is 30 farads. The reason why I say that is because most of these you're going to see these big can types, one or two farad at most. Okay? Guess what? Similar design that was inside this board. 60 volt, 2.7 or 60 farad, sorry, 60 farad, 2.7 volt. They claimed it to be 30 farads. So what they're doing is they're taking these little mini super caps that are 10 farads, throwing them in there with a couple and claiming it's 30 farad. Pure junk, pure absolute junk. You better off spending your money and making one of those where you're going to get a true 58 farads, just flat out simple, or get six of those and make a 500 farad bank because you're going to get 
true capacity. Now a lot of people confuse capacitors with these capacitors. And I see people, now these are regular electrolytic capacitors. You can see right here, it's 4700 microfarad. Uh, you know, re, I use some of these uh, to replace in car stereo amplifiers and stuff like that. Because basically what these are are filter capacitors or, you know, they use it in power supplies to help keep the current buffer, you know, like right here, here's a 100 volt, 2200 UF. And here's another one that's rated for 35 volt and 1000 microfarad. And what you, and here's what you got to know. It would take approximately well, 1,000 microfarad. So it would take 1,000 of these capacitors to make one farad. That's the difference. These are not super capacitors. These are, they're, they're on the base, de, same design technically, but no. Um, the, these are electrolytic. These are what you'll see in your car stereo amplifiers or a home stereo receiver or even car stereo amplifiers and for people what use you know there's a lot of people you know for wind and solar and even car stereos these are great but a lot of people don't know you got to watch out you get ripped off of these things especially this thing this thing i i, I can't believe that they actually sold something like this probably for a hundred bucks and there's not even Fifteen dollars in it, and it goes the same for this. I mean, I mean, this works. Believe it or not, it could be charged up and and used. This little board here. I mean, it's got a couple engines, but I can't believe they put that crap in there with them. Why don't they just take something like this and say, okay, I'll sell you a super cap for your car stereo system. You know, say it's fifty farad or something. I believe there's one or two car stereo companies that actually do that. Uh, the last one I know of that actually does it on a true ended scale, I believe Rockford Fosgate does it. So not I'm not trying to shout them out or anything, but I know that at one time they had a true super capacitor. But yeah, a lot of people get these confused. You know, it's they take these and say oh we'll make me a capacitor bank they'll help with filtering and stuff like that or voltage stabilization you know and the output of a power supply or something and a lot of us old timers that uh, deal with power supply issues we'll just grab up one of these one fair capacitors and throw it right on a power supply you know to help you know, if you're a CB user or ham radio user, and of course now a lot of the ham radio operators are getting into these super caps too because that instantaneous power draw they need when they key up that mic and transmit a couple thousand watts of RF audio, or, or, not audio, but RF power radio frequency and transmit with their uh, transmitters. But yeah, the uh, I, I just absolutely cannot believe that. Uh, I took that apart. I knew this was old, but I didn't expect to see uh, the capacitor that was, you know, at most this is probably a four or five hundred microfarad capacitor at most, four or five thousand. I mean, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. I get the numbers right here. A, five, a half a farad at most and then they chuck that in with these capacitors to get 10 farad now when they rated it at 10 farad well they were correct because they put 1060 farad capacitors in there and 6 divided by that will be 10 farads and that's how it works when the capacitors are in series of each other but yeah, I just wanted everybody to get an update on the differences. Like I said, you know, always go for true tried technology. If you want real super capacities in capacitance 
and store I mean boom that's the way to go stay away from your car stereo capacitors that they sell as a car stereo cap saying oh it'll help this and help that and basically all it is is a good electrical system smoother to keep out noises and stuff. excuse me noises and stuff so I, I, I I'm still uh, I don't know what to say about that other than take a hammer to it and chuck it somewhere but yeah, uh, once again, I wanted you guys to see this. Um, the difference between capacitors, super capacitors, regular capacitors, whatever, you know. As you can see, you know, there's a uh, 3300 mic yeah, 3, microfarad. This depends on the type of capacitor you need depends upon its use so I want to thank you very much for watching once again um, I hope you learn a little bit from it you know click like and subscribe down there it will only hurt once like I say all the time and uh, here at the uh, solar haven today we we uh, did manage a 3.9 kilowatt in and another five kilowatt in on the uh, off-grid part because we're doing off-grid today nice and sunny day uh, the winds of course it's blowing good it's connected up to a 12 volt battery so I'm uh, doing a little bit of experimentation with that so but yeah once again I'm gonna <laughs> click like and subscribe and uh, click on that bell down there for notification if you like seeing my videos that way you'll know when I make a new video and put it up there for you and i hope you all have a good evening stay safe and i'm out of here